The Ministry of Finance and the Public Service presents Let's Talk Finance, a feature exploring the various elements of the economic program. Welcome again to Let's Talk Finance here on Nationwide 90 FM. My name is George Davis. So good to be here with you once again. Last week, we delved into the matter of the National Financial Inclusion Strategy. Spoke with Melanie Williams from the Bank of Jamaica. This day, I'm going to speak to one of the brand ambassadors if you may, for that National Financial Inclusion Strategy. His name is Theodore Henry, and he has worked extensively with the Jamaica Information Service. You'd hear his voice on features on the GIS, and he's also a TV presenter working with some entities that many of you would have been familiar with. Theodore, welcome to Let's Talk Finance. Thank you, George. It is good to be here. Very well. All right. The issue of the National Financial Inclusion Strategy is going to be the focus of our discussion today. Mm -hmm. But even before I go into the specific questions, why lend yourself to a campaign such as this? Wow. Well, uh, why, why, why wouldn't I? You know, money makes the world go round. We, we always say that adage, but um, it's, it's not so much cliche. It's, it's true. It's mm -hmm. absolutely true. And I firmly believe that when a people, say Jamaicans and Jamaica, have better access to financing, and a better understanding of how money works, the country can't help but grow. Mm -hmm. I live here. It's where I keep all my stuff. I yes. like the country to grow. Yes. So I, I was given the opportunity, and I jumped at it. I grabbed it with both hands because this is something I want to see take off in Jamaica. There you go. All right. Sacrificing yourself for the better good. It's not even a sacrifice. Yeah? <laughs> it's lending your service. There you go. So why is it then that the National Financial Inclusion Strategy matters to you squarely? Well, so right now, growth, uh, growing and getting better is one of the big watchwords in Jamaica. And one of the main things you find in uh, households across Jamaica is that resilience is lacking. Mm -hmm. You know, the ability to withstand shocks, the understanding of the formal economy, being able to, you know, make your money flow and work for you. Yes. Not just spend it, you know, yes. work for you. Yes. It's a crucial part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, so the national financial inclusion strategy at its basics is creating the environment in which these things happen, so the, the regulatory framework, and also in helping people understand how money works and how it can work for them mm -hmm. and the products that are created for them. Put those two things together and, uh, man, you can't hold Jamaica again. So, so let me ask, is it then within your, well, among your immediate peer group, your, mm -hmm. your circle of friends right. or, or close associates, do you get an understanding from them that they have an appreciation for a national financial inclusion strategy from the perspective of what it means in real terms, even if someone wouldn't be able to say to you that, Theodore, this is a national financial inclusion strategy, but based on how they articulate points around that, you get from that that they understand what the strategy is aiming to do. Well, you know, I have a friend. I have a friend. The other day I, I called him and he said, so I'm like, yo, where are you? And he's like... Yo, Mr. I'll just give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I'm like, he's like, yo, Mr. Don't put a line, I pay one billion. I'm like, you're standing in a line paying a bill? Mm -hmm. You know? And um, so after that, I went, I haven't stood in a line to pay a bill in forever. Right? Yes. It, it, a big part of the financial inclusion strategy is getting people to realize the benefits of e payment, the, yes. the, the reliability of such a network, being able to track your money, trace your money, and not waste too much time standing in line paying bills. Yes. Lumping emergencies with that. Uh, there was a, a situation I had the other day where I had to go and get a car that had crashed. You know, no, time is money. Everybody yeah. knows that. Yes. You know, so. If I had to go home, get some money, come back, by the time the car would be in the pound, I'd have to pay the, the, the keeping fee and mm -hmm. all of that. Whereas a simple transfer within two minutes from your digital bank account to my digital bank account, the money was set. Mm -hmm. You know, So people may not call it a national financial inclusion strategy. It's a wonderful title. Mm -hmm. But people, I believe, are growing to understand the benefits of using their money electronically, of seeking out the financial products that work for their lives, insurance, all of that sort of stuff. Yes. Essentially, buying into the formal money economy. Yeah. And not just uh, relying on cash. Yes. Because cash has this way of flying away. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the personalized touch that the finance ministry is after by yes. appointing brand ambassadors is that personalized touch is evident when you relay these personal experiences that you have. You just told me about the the, the, the example of the car right, and sorting right. that out and your friend standing in line to pay a bill. Right. Share with us, if you may, another example of 
how you have been financially included, if you may. Mm. So let me give let me give a scenario. Mm-hmm. And um, I was working with a, a big part of my personal work is working with young people. Yes. Right. I, I believe I wish I want to see financial. Um, how do I put this? Education mm-hmm. taught in schools. Do we yeah. ever teach algebra? Yes. I want to teach people how to make a budget. Yes. You know those things from high school. So. Uh, there, there's a young lady I'm working with, and uh, she just started working at a call center. And uh, so, you know, you start getting your first paycheck and whatnot, and you start wondering, what do I do with my money? You know, I'm now earning. So maybe you want to save a bit of it. You have to buy food, so you have your transportation costs. And remember, money takes on wings for itself. So you don't want it to be in cash, mm-hmm. because when you have cash in pocket, you have money to spend. Yes. You know, you don't really track cash in pocket. It's a reason why they say cash to burn. Cash to burn. Yes. Right. So she now has to go to, if she wants to go to the supermarket and she wants to do some savings and she needs to pay her bills, just imagine that you have to go to four or five physical places. Mm-hmm. Now remember, you're trying to save your money and make it work for you, you know? Yes. Now, when you have to go to four different places, that's four different taxi fare. Yes. Four or four bus fare. Yes. You know, so... You end up spending a bag of money when you're trying to save money. Now, instead, imagine she sits down at her computer, logs into her e-banking account and sends some money over there. You know, she pays all her bills mm-hmm. from one computer or her phone, you know. And, and that's, that's the user part of the NFIS strategy. There's also the part that the BOJ is responsible for, the regulation, mm-hmm. to make sure that you can track your money, to make sure that the institutions that you're working with are regulated. Mm-hmm. You know, there is accountability and on accountability, then it can build reliability. And uh, it just takes off from there. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, 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 the issue of the future, though. Yes. From here, if the plan takes root as the people behind it want it to, mm-hmm. as Jamaicans become more financially intelligent, where do you see us, say, in 10 years, not going too far? So by 2029, 20, 20, by 2030, vision, vision 2030, vision, why not? By vision work. 2030, yes, my friend, by vision 2030, <laughs> All right. and based on the effect that the National Financial Inclusion Strategy should have going up to then, what do you see Jamaica as financially included by that time? How do you see that future? I am looking at it from the perspective of, let's say, entrepreneurship. Uh, I've, I've recently waded into the world of business myself in terms of... In, in terms of information technology and media. And uh, when, when our people understand money and there's trust in a financial system and framework, you know what I'd like? When entrepreneurs, whether they are big or small, they are able to easily process e-payments mm-hmm. where you are no longer closed to a fixed location. Yes. So your, your customers have to come there to make payments. You no longer have to deal with opening hours. Yes. Because if my customer wants to shop at 3 a.m. in the morning, I can still process their payments. Yes. And it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to get it done because there's greater trust in the system. There's greater regulation in the system. We can track it. We can ensure that the money flows where it should flow. That's what I want to say where any entrepreneur can deploy an e-commerce system easily and process payments like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I want to see because I'm in it. Yes. So it would benefit me. Yes. And I think I mentioned also, I definitely want financial education to be taught in schools. Yes. One of the biggest ways you can turn around your financial situation, George, is learning how to make a budget. Yes. Sounds simple. Yes. To sit down with a pen and a paper and just check out, yeah. check out, check out. You can plan. Yeah. And if you can plan then the future is more, you can look forward to things. But because I'm talking about the future, Theodore, I'm not using any pen and paper. I'm using Mm -hmm. my tablet or my smartphone. Oh, good. (laughs) That's right. That's right. (laughs) There you go. Right there. There You You know, you you have an app out there and whatnot. Yeah, there's an app for that. Yeah, There There is an app for that. (laughs) I recently found one myself. There you go. I I, I hear you say and you stress what you would like to see. Mm -hmm. Give me something more pointed now. Based on the program of, 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 the outreach, the public education around this national financial inclusion strategy. Yeah. Do you think that reasonably, ceteris paribus, all conditions held constant, if everything moves as intended, mm-hmm. should we be there by 2030, you think? You know, the, 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 that which you hope to see, mm-hmm. should we be there based on where we're tracking now, is the question. 
based on the framework, and I, I don't know if we have enough time to we go have through the... We have about two minutes. We have about two minutes. Yeah, right. so enough the, time that. <laughs> well, yeah, you're broadcasting, man. You know that's another time. The, the, pillars are, the pillars are extensive. So maybe what you should do, George, is invite me back. Yeah. And then look, I'll talk about the pillars. Yes. But the, the vision 2030 is to live, work, raise families, and do business. To, to make Jamaica that place. Yes. And based on where we're looking now and what uh, our, 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 the people we're seeking to reach will see in mm. the coming months, I definitely think we should be able to hit it by then. Yes. And not just on paper, George, yes. or on your tablet. On your tablet. But in real life. Yes. We will be able to see the effects of this NFIS strategy in real life. There you go. So the youngster listening to you now, Theodore, who says, you know what? I heard that man speaking on Nationwide and I want to know more. Mm -hmm. about the National Financial Inclusion Strategy, you'd advise them to go where to seek that information. Right, so we've been stressing e-payments and whatnot. Yes. And you've talked about your tablet. Yes. So I'm not going to send you down to BOJ. Yeah. Instead, I'm going to send you to BOJ's website. There you go. On your phone, on your tablet, or the, the Twitter page is, um, I think it's at Central Bank JA. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm sure of that. Mm -hmm. At Central Bank JA. Of course, they're on Facebook as well. And so the strategy is to push out the information. There's yes. some short videos on it. There's downloadables on it. There is a PDF about the NFIS strategy. You can download and read. Pretty short. So, yeah. Website, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. BOJ. Here you go. And to paraphrase third word, whoa, 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 yay. NFIS ambassador. George, you Here forgot promo. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, 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 the ministry is... Social media specialist, Camille Sinclair, thinks I should go pro because I'm an idiot. But oh, well, well, <laughs> I'm well. going to sue her. That's She's right. on the floor rolling around in the studio now, listeners. I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> uh, the technical director, can we get some sweet sugar and water for Camille, please? Yeah, we need to revive her. Theodore, it's been a pleasure talking to you, my friend. Thank you for um, having me. I hope to speak with you again mm -hmm. and uh, keep being a strong ambassador for this NFIS. Any final words from you before we go? Don't knock it until you've tried it. Essentially, one of the one of the hurdles that we will have to conquer is trust in the system, right? It it is not to harm you or track you or make your life harder. Yes. In fact, it's to make your life easier, allow you to be able to make more money, track your money, plan to make your family better, your business better, and overall make Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, and do business. Excellent, Theodore Henry, brand ambassador. National Financial Inclusion Strategy. That's it for Let's Talk Finance this week. That was Let's Talk Finance, brought to you by the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service.